Hey guys, Salt Tank here, and welcome to my third arcade block, or rather my third nerd block unboxing. Now, due to the Canadian dollar being under 70 cents, uh, I will not be ordering anymore. Uh, at least not until it goes back up, because otherwise it's going to cost me 200 bucks for another three months instead of 150 or, you know, an another ludicrous amount. Um, so, this is my final block for now. Kind of excited. Kind of not, but I kind of am. I'll explain that as I go. So one thing that you know I've I've always said that I that I disliked about it is the fact that everybody always gets the same thing. I honestly would like it a lot better, and I would probably recommend buying it if it was actually random things that uh, that everybody gets. Nobody gets the exact same box. Well, at least not everybody. Um. Yeah. Let's just get right to it. <clears throat> I really don't got much else to say. Okay, so, as always, I'll start off with the shirt. And just for dramatic sequence state, it's late. I don't care. All right, so, uh, Street Fighter V. Oh, God. Now, I know I'm probably going to lose some viewers over this, and I'm probably not going to uh, be very looked upon after this in my previous unboxing video, but I don't care for Street Fighter, nor have I ever cared about Street Fighter, ever. Not once. Ever. Not ever. Ever. Never. I'm sorry. It's not my kind of thing. Next, I'll start with the Morph Ball Stress Reliever. It's a exclusive arcade block item. And and here it is. Now I do not know what game this is based off of. If it's based off of any game. Uh, Morph Ball. I have no idea. I really have no idea. Leave a comment down below of um, of what this is from because it would be nice to actually know what it is. Uh, next up is going to be the other smaller box that's in this other box. Let's hope it's not another box within a box. Okay, so this is another Arcade Block exclusive item. This one is a puzzle cube, and by the insignia on the side, I can only assume that it is uh, the Joker from Batman. Now, I know I'm going to lose a few fans because of this, um, but I have never cared for Batman or any superheroes. Any superheroes at all. Ever. Never. Not once. Not Ever. Never. Ever. Now if I can open this. Okay. 
Oh, I thought it was going to be a Joker sort of thing, just on the side there, but it's not. It is actually Super Mario stuff. I like that. I like that. That's a Rubik's Cube. I've never cared for Rubik's Cubes, and I've never been able to solve them. Plus, this one is fairly stiff, so I don't think you could really do it all that quickly. But otherwise, this is actually pretty cool. Now, I know I'm going to lose a few fans because of this. But I absolutely love Nintendo and Super Mario and everything of the like. Next up is a Mortal Kombat 10 bobblehead, Scorpion. Ugh. Uh, okay, that's not gonna work anyways. Uh. Gotta love having reflections. Ah, you can't see shit. You can see the back. Kind of. It's not that bad. It, uh... It doesn't look like it's too crudely done. I've, I've, I've seen a lot worse paint jobs on models. A lot worse. Now, it looks like there's only two items left. But before I go to those... <sighs> I know I'm going to be losing a lot of fans from this. But... I have never cared for Mortal Kombat. I've never cared for any side-scroller games. I've never cared for any of those arcade fighter games. I am more of an RPG or a first-person shooter or uh, just adventure RPG, first-person, you know, anything of like there. But I don't know why I've just always, always hated those arcade fighting games. Except, except for two. Except for Dissidia Final Fantasy and Dissidia Duodecim, the second one. It was the only two I've actually cared about, cared for at all. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, never cared for this. Don't shoot me now. Alright, next up is a Pokemon Toque. This seems like it would be not so effective during our during my uh, Canadian winters, but it is definitely a collection item. Oh, and I guess I should show it. It is definitely a collection item. And I mean, it it does look nice. It doesn't it doesn't look like it's uh, it's really poorly made or anything like that. Because the Pokeball is that simple. It's exactly that simple. And I mean, it's a toque. A toque is extremely simple. Either way. I like it. It's staying in the plastic. And last but not least, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, eh, eh, eh. first, before I go into the last part. So here are the uh, promo cards for next blocks. 
of course this has to be a Sega and Nintendo block. So it says that to, on Feb in February's block, keep an eye out for Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, just items based for, off of that. And, of course, obviously, Legend of Zelda. Just has to be on that final block. You suck. I still like Arcade Block, but you suck. Not really. Mm. Okay. And on the other card, it just tells you what you got in the block, um, and what everybody, pretty much what everybody else has gotten in the block. So, for the last thing, I still don't know what it is. It's still face down in here. It is a license plate. And it says, Accidents hurt. Oh, hey, I don't even need to pull it out or anything like that. It says, accidents hurt. You... You will be hurt. Ah. Uh, coworkers, don't, enda don't endanger others. The company, replacements are costly. Science, investigations impede progress. Safety first. Now, I like this. I'm... Trying to figure out what this is what this is for. Oh, aperture. It says it in the bottom corner there. I also should have figured by the fact that it was more concerned about the company than it was about its workers. Makes perfect sense for it to be aperture. You know, I actually have a friend who would absolutely love to have this. Who knows? Maybe I'll send it to her. Who knows? Well, that... Ooh, you get in there the right way. You get in there the right way. Yeah. Ah! Alright, well, overall in this block, it was, it was mostly, uh, mostly filled with stuff that I actually don't personally care for. But, again, that's what happens with these sorts of blocks. You, you get some that you like, you get some that you don't like. I'd say probably the only one that I did care for would be the toque and maybe the maybe the rubik's cube or the puzzle cube um that license plate was also nice i, I do have to say that um honestly i actually haven't fully played through portal but maybe i should put that on my to-do list that and the first one But before I can make a to-do list, I should probably finish what I'm working on now. Yada, yada, yada. Now, before, before I do end this completely, I do have to say that ordering from this is both a pro and a con. One pro of it would be, you know, you, you get stuff. You know, kind of obvious, but um, one of the cons is you don't know what you're getting. So it could be 
a bunch of stuff that you you just want to toss in the trash. You never want to see it again. Or, as a pro, it could be a bunch of things that you absolutely love. Like, uh, when it came to my, um, when it came to that horror block that I got as my grab block, I absolutely loved it. I loved it. That, uh, that picture, the signed picture from The Shining of the, of the two little girls, that thing is pretty. I wouldn't toss that out if someone paid me a million bucks to do it. Well, yeah, no, I still wouldn't, because that that's an awesome thing to have. Um, but when it comes to blocks, unfortunately, like this one, whereas you you are excited for it, but you don't get anything that you that you really really like. There's the pro. There's the con. Um, honestly, yes, you do get a chance to win a Mega Block. Um, again, that could be a thing that you won't like what's in it. Yeah, it'll, it'll be worth a lot more, but just because something's worth more doesn't make it worth more. Everyone sees it differently, everyone has different interests, everyone has different ways of looking at things, and different ways of enjoying things. But, honestly, I do have to say that out of the three months that I was with Arcade Block, it was a so-so experience. It was, it was a 50-50 for me. It wasn't entirely bad, and it wasn't entirely good. One of the, one of the biggest things that kind of wrecked it for me was the cost of it because of our, uh, because of our dollar being lower at that time. I think it was at eighty cents at that time. Um, so instead of it costing me a hundred and ten like it said it should, it was a hundred and fifty. And with a hundred and fifty, I could have paid for another month plus another grab block. Um. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where if you're willing to spend the money on it, then it's worth it. But if it's hard to spend that money on it, maybe you shouldn't. If you're if you're thinking that maybe you could use that money for something else, maybe you should. Now that doesn't mean that arcade block is bad in any sense because it's not. It's it's one of the it's one of the top uh, mystery box sending uh, sending organizations, um, along with uh, loot crate. Now I might I might do a three month loot crate, possibly if uh, if I save up the money for it first because might be a smart idea and uh, if I do that I will post the videos I will get those out so that you guys can also see what that's like and if you guys do like more of these crate things then maybe I'll start ordering other crates that that aren't just you know about video games or that just aren't um, you know like nerd block kind of thing or loot crate make them uh, random things as well like uh, I know I know there's one that's specifically Canadian where they send you a bunch of Canadian snacks Canadian snacks I need not say more but anyways I'm running up on 20 minutes here so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video and want to see more please like and subscribe Leave a comment down below of your experience with Arcade Block, uh, or Nerd Block in general, and uh, obviously what a couple of those things were from, because obviously I didn't have any idea. 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.